Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Found hanging above dining tables in numerous houses in the lower Mississippi River Valley region, the punka helped to provide a cool breeze for those gathered for southern meals, particularly early afternoon dinners. A Hindu word, punka, originated from punk, which means the wings of a bird which produce a draft when flapped. In South Asia, punka referred to handheld fans made from palms, rattan, or other plant fiber. But the word came into common usage in British India to refer to a large swinging fan fixed to the ceiling and pulled by a coolie or servant during hot weather. The date of this invention is not known, but punkas were familiar to Arabs as early as the 8th century. Throughout the antebellum south, typically, a young slave child would be tasked with pulling the rope, which gently rocked the punka back and forth. Today, one of the most impressive punkas in America is the one found in the dining room at Melrose, the estate owned by the Natchez National Historic Park. It is carved as Santa Domingan mahogany, decorated with an anthemion, a stylized honeysuckle blossom. Although many people refer to the punka as a shoe fly, the fan probably did a poor job of keeping flies off the food. Electric fans supplanted the punka at the beginning of the 20th century, but visitors to many of the great houses of Natchez can still see examples of what we might call a 19th century HVAC unit. This is Burt Brown with the Natchez National Historic Park, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.